Good morning. Today is Monday, Monday of Easter week. It is April the 10th, and we're in the octave of Easter. We are here in the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Margie, and I welcome you to this service of morning prayer. Let us pray. God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Today's psalm is number 20. You can find that on page 352. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifices. Grant thee thy heart's desire and fulfill all thy mind. We will rejoice in thy salvation and triumph in the name of our God. The Lord perform all thy petitions. Now know I that the Lord helpeth his anointed and will hear him from his holy heaven, even with the wholesome strength of his right hand. Some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. O Lord, save the King and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. The lesson is written in Acts 10. Peter opened his mouth and said, of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel preaching good tidings of peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word, I say, ye know, which was published throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, and who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did, 
both in the land and on the sea, in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged him on a tree. But God raised him up on the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of God, even to us, who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to bear witness that it is he who was ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive forgiveness of sins. Here endeth the lesson. Page 11, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Collect. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Rather than a quote today, I have um, something I'd just like to share with you. It says, I am praying you find comfort in knowing who you belong to and that there is no greater calling or claim on your life. Let your heart rest in God's presence. What he is doing is best. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence from 1 John 3. Peace is the calm assurance that what God is doing is best. James MacDonald. Thank you for joining us today. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.